Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stage. Hi, I am the man. We're playing Madden 20. We are. We're Viking it, Nick. Oh, Viking yeah. in it. Viking in it? <laughs> Viking in it. <laughs> Viking -ing 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 -ing. <laughs> you had an ing to the end of an ing word is weird. Viking -ing -ing. Viking -ing -ing. <laughs> Viking -ing -ing. <laughs> Whatever. All right. All right, as always, we're playing <laughs> offense only. Sim that D. I think I forgot to do this on the last video. Using that balanced playbook and playing on all Madden uh, arcade mode. Well, yeah, we jumped right into it last time. You, you were mean? champing at the bit to talk about a tattooed <laughs> rainbow-haired man. <laughs> what do you mean we jumped right into it? Oh, the last, the, yeah, top. the last video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that one lo Cued locked up. and loaded, man. Yeah, dude. Jones, are we going to talk about your your Christmas gift? My mom got me Omaha Steaks. It's Omaha Steaks! It was funny because last week we were talking about Omaha Steaks, and today I opened up the door and there's an Omaha Steak box right out the Omaha Steak styrofoam cooler. Omaha Steaks! Age Notice 21 this. big years! Did you Can know you that each it? steak is aged 21 years? Dude, <laughs> did you? I rode that ish. Oh my god. I can't wait. So, can't Jonas, wait let's let, for people who don't know what Omaha Steaks is, Jonas, let's give them a little backstory. Oh, we're gonna go the Omaha Steak route on this. Well, might as well, because right. now we got to talk about what you got in your package. Oh, I mean, it's gonna be a quick talk. <laughs> Jonas, don't don't do don't that. talk about my package. <laughs> I know your your package is quick. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> but Omaha Steaks is a it's like Blue Apron, but they just send you meat. I mean, Omaha Steaks has been around for a long time. It was like the original Blue Apron. It's just meat. Uh, it's like you mail order meat. <laughs> mail order meat. Yeah, it's like the Schwann's And then, guy. like, um, you know, just for come to you if it's mail order, it has to be frozen, right? It, they ship it overnight. It's frozen, but they put it in a styrofoam cooler with dry ice. Is that what that cooler is over there? Yeah, dude. So what are you going to do with your cooler dry ice? I'm gonna put it on you while you sleep, so it sticks to your skin. What does dry ice do to you? It like burns your flesh, yeah, right? Yeah, it'll burn your flesh, bro. I know they're always like, "Don't touch the dry ice with your bare it hands." It literally said, "Don't touch the dry ice, I dude." Mean, we could open it up and pour water on it, and it'll smoke everywhere. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I'll pass. Fine. I want to know what happens when you get dry ice on you, Why don't you because I've lived. I have a stick in my hand. You do not. I've lived in fear of dry ice for this long, Jonas. Yeah, have you? I, yeah, because they've always always made it seem like if you touched it like all your sins would be known to your parents or something like hey. your parents oh, yeah. yeah like they get happens? your they get your internet history hey. oh yeah <laughs> look on your I face know. my mom would be fine with whatever dude. <laughs> you don't want her to have it though <laughs> no dude i don't i don't want no. Nah, dude, she would be all right with it. She's accepting. She's pretty progressive. You F and B. All right. Either way, Jonas got Omaha steaks, mail order meat. Uh, <laughs> mail order meat. Got his mail order meat in. Yeah. So I didn't know how they shipped it. So that was informative. Yeah, I figured that out too. And then uh, it seems like they just sent you kind of like single serving. What are they like? Eight ounce steaks? Uh, no, they're like four ounce. Four course. ounce steaks. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, my uh, yeah, my mom hooked me up a little grab bag. Are they are those the filet mignons that you no, were talking about? Just the sirloin boys. Just the sirloin boys. Yeah, dude. And they sent you some uh some chicken. Some chicken breasts, some kibasi, some steak burners. Okay. Some caramel apple fritter type deals. Okay. And, uh, some uh, some potato balls. See, I'm no uh, like it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit up here in front for Omaha steaks. Me all immediately. It's a lovely gesture, and you know, big ups to your mom for doing that. Absolutely, I appreciate it 100. percent But like the looks of it didn't look super appetizing. I feel you. But they, it could be amazing once you. It like. probably, dude. Okay, and here's the thing. I think it's like it's nice portion. It's like portion for yeah, one. Exactly. But I don't ever cook one. I food prep like crazy. So yeah. like I'm just gonna cook all of it at once. Well, I don't. I wouldn't think it would be like for you to be like feel like eating a steak and just fry. Well, I don't know. You don't like frying. You like to grill, right? Yeah, yeah, I grill yeah. it. But yeah, it's, it's no man. Probably what I'll do is I will just cook it all. I'll, do, I'll like use it as a food prep and just eat it that week. I'll yeah. just probably cook almost all of it at once. Oh yeah. See, now that's a good idea. Yeah, and then I'll cook like it's just that, okay. Here's I'm gonna be real with it. I eat, I try to eat very healthy. And some of the stuff that was sent is not healthy. 
Like the kibasi is like 250 calories per link. I need to eat at least eat two links to have somewhat sort of satiation from it. And then I need something else too. So you're talking like, that's a lot of calories. And then like those potato balls, I'm sure they're great, but they're like 300 calories per ball and they're the size of like a golf ball. So like, it's like a lot of calories. No, oh, okay. And like those fritters, I'm not a huge fan of fritters, but I'm sure they're good. Like yeah. yeah, well, I mean, I mean it's, it's been around long enough. I'm, I'm assuming that the stuff is probably good. Oh, I'm sure it's high quality stuff. I mean, if you age anything, 21 years is good. <laughs> well, I'm double as good, Jonas, because I ain't seen 21 in a couple. Anyway. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Yeah, it was very interesting the way it came packaged, the way that uh, the way that they look in the packaging. Yeah. Interesting. I, I mean, should to cook it and see what it tastes like, man. It better be good. Yeah, if I was a if I was a carnivore, Jonas, I would I would I could see myself utilizing. Well, maybe that. if I cook it on Christmas, you'll partake. I'm making I'm making I'm making T bones again on Christmas. I might cook that on New Year's. How Day. are you already planning? It's not Christmas even... is next week, bro. Oh yeah, Christmas. <laughs> I mean, actually, Christmas might be today. I don't know what this. Very it could, true. We're recording for next. This could be the Christmas episode. See, I was thinking Thanksgiving. I hate. The holiday season, Me too, dude. Jesus, criminy season. Yeah, Mar- dude. Mar- like this, actually, this very well may be the Christmas episode. I don't, we'll see. <laughs> Fine. If it is, Merry Christmas. If it's not, f you. Mariah Carey's "All I Want for Christmas" hit number one on the charts for the first time ever. I know, isn't that amazing? Oh my God, I'm almost done with Chance for the no. season. <laughs> I wish this guy would stop dropping up and passes. I'm trying to do something, and I can't get it done. I just think it's crazy how All I Want for Christmas is You came out like 20 years ago, and it just now hit number one. And, yeah, it's almost time to put up chants. God damn it. <laughs> that was for both of those things. You can't say the sack that. Sack and <laughs> chants. I was mad. <laughs> Joe, it's, it's it's all right, man. It's, not. it's fine. I want him to be good, dude. It's You've not. seen me lose games. No, I, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring this guy's dev trade up. Dude, F is dev trade. No, dude, I don't want F is dev trade, bro. F is I need to dev make trade. Him good, dude. He, he, but the team is garbage. I need them to get as good as possible. I want to talk about Omaha State. Let's do it. Let's go, dude. I will let you have some of my Omaha steaks. I don't want any of your freaking Omaha steaks. I don't. Why don't you want my steak, bro? No, don't Why do you want your my meat? Freaking, I don't want your meat, dude. I'm tell my mom you refused my meat. Yeah, you let her know. So you tell her. Yeah. You tell her that dynamite is not putting any of your meat in his mouth. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> All right. you put some of my meat in your mouth on Thanksgiving. I'm never going to put any of your meat ever in my mouth again. No, because I, I gave you money, so I hope so that was our meat. Okay. <laughs> put our meat in your mouth. Our collective meat. That was, that was our meat. All right. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good statement. I like it. You did put our meat in there. <laughs> I yeah. even s- stood by while you cooked it, so I helped prep. Yeah, we had to hop a fence and everything. So yeah, I helped prep the meat. <laughs> I don't know if you helped prep it. I mean, I was there in spirit. Oh, my God. Throw the effing ball, Kirk Cousins. I helped the meat by watching you cook it. Yeah, you did. You did a good job. You're very much there for support. You hopped the fence. I did hop we a fence. We had to hop a fence. <laughs> yeah, dude, because the damn apartment, the gated community we live in, didn't... Uh, didn't open up the main grill on time. They didn't open the grill. I wanted to go in the hot tub, too, and I couldn't do that either. <laughs> I don't know why you want to go in the hot tub. We got awesome. to talk about your hot tub usage. That's a good one. Let's talk about that. Right now? Yeah, why not? Okay. It's disgusting, It is not. It is gross. It is not. You get in there with a bunch of other people. Women. And they could have had diarrhea in the last week. I'm just saying. Excuse me? They could have. I mean... If you've had diarrhea in the last week, there's no reason you should be getting in my hot tub. Why is that? In fact, if you pooped in the last, like, three days, I don't want you getting in my hot tub. Excuse me? What are you talking? Why? Why is this a hard Why do you poop and go in a hot tub? Ever? Because I don't want your dirty poop all over my body. I have a different view of what happens with poop. Your butt, dude. Not everybody's wiping good, Jonas. I need to <laughs> I gotta check out your asshole. <laughs> wow, you can't say it. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, dude. I can't, dude. I, I'm sorry. I gotta check it out. I gotta check You're out not your checking mine out. I gotta check sorry, the bro. A-hole. No, I it. need to check the a-hole of every person getting into this GD hot tub before I set foot into it. Why? I need to check your a-holes. I need to check your uh, 
your B holes, your, your, your C holes, yep. your P holes. All of them. All A, B, C, D, E, F, H, I, all the way to Z, motherfucker. Holes. In fact, we're going in the numbers up to five. The five hole? Yeah, so Z, oh, then one, two, three, four, five, all your O's. Yeah. Get out of my sack, neck, dude. Get out. What would be an L hole? Think about um, that one, Josh. Uh, it would be the... We can, we can come back to it. It's fine. I mean, it could be the love hole. And then you Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> sure can. Yeah, you know but yeah, so yeah, I think it's disgusting, Jonas. I'm not getting in it with a bunch of unsanitary people. Okay. Fair. Not even to say that they are unsanitary, but I don't think they're all the sanitary. Wow. Okay. And what if I've pooped? Maybe I'm just trying to be a good neighbor. It's nah, okay. you know, no, no, it is not I mean, okay. You, people poop, dude. It's part of life, man. I don't know why this is a problem. <laughs> yeah, people poop, but then you don't know, poop and then get into a stew with other people. Poop, poop stew? You just don't jump into people poop stew. You don't do that. Dude, I don't. You're, you're speaking crazy. I'm not speaking crazy. I'm telling. Poop tell stew. Yeah. There's no feces. <laughs> There's flex, there's fla fecal flakes and poop particles, poop particles. all over everybody. All when over they get, everyone. When they get into a hot tub. There's chlorine, dude. What? Chemicals. Okay. Oh, I don't want your sterile poop flakes on me, all right? I don't really understand what you're trying to say. If I take a piss in a glass and then I put some chlorine in it, are you going to dip your hand in the glass? No. Thank you. That is the weirdest <laughs> argument I've ever heard about anything, ever. It's chlorine. Chlorine does not clean. I don't care if you clean the piss or the poop or the vaginal secretions or your semen tip penis. I'm not jumping in. <laughs> is, this, is this the raunchy thing you were going to talk about? No. I'm just letting you know how I feel about hot tubs. Yeah, okay. I'm glad you breached. <laughs> wow. All the chlorine in the world. <laughs> ain't gonna keep the poop out your hands. Ain't gonna make dude. me. I don't know. Yeah, really, dude. Kinda... I need to check everybody's okay. shower records. Everyone's shower record. Because you know everybody marks has a book of showers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a... Let me check your shower record out. You don't have a calendar in your Just bathroom? Like, check. <laughs> I pooped today. I showered afterwards. Thanks. There's, uh, okay, how how about this, Joe? It's fine. You know, I think those are disgusting. Do, do you poop after you shower? I poop when I have to poop, dude. I don't have a, a timetable on it. I mean, do you shower after you poop? <laughs> no, not directly after. I don't go poop and then shower. Within within feasible. 20 minutes, though. It's not feasible. How? What if you're at work? Do you know there is a subset of people, Jonas, who seriously feel like every time they poop, they have to take a shower? Are they fecophiliacs? No, Joe, that's the opposite. I mean, that means they, they like fecophobiacs? poop. Are they fecophobiacs? Fecophobiacs? I don't know. I feel like I'm way more fecophobiatic than you are. You just jumping in the hot tubs with all the You're poop definitely flakes. way more fecophobic than I am. I just don't want everybody. I don't know, man. I think about when I get into a bathtub and I can see like the some of the... The, the grunge just rising to the top yep. and then I'm just like I don't want to do that with a bunch of other people I don't want all my grunge and their grunge getting it you don't want your nirvana and mix with their <laughs> with their pearl jam I get you thank you right yeah dude I hear you oh god it's sack <laughs> <laughs> so so that, that's that's my thing there. okay that's your um, take yeah I poop when I have to as well I don't <laughs> feel like I have to take a shower after I poop I'm glad be awkward <clears throat> Maximum number of days you can go without a shower, no. Jonas. Don't say that. One at the most. Like, I shower every single day. And, it's, and, like, if, like, it happens to be a lazy day where I haven't left and it's, like, late at night and it'll be like, I'm like, oh, man, I didn't shower today. Like, a lot of times I'll take a shower before I go to bed. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah, at the most, I will go a day. Like, if I don't do anything. But if I go anywhere, I always shower. You know there's a subset of people, Jonas. You don't shower? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Longest you've ever gone without a shower, if you can recollect. Uh, give me a ballpark. It I, I have would to say be the easy. most two days, I would think. Okay. That, that, would, that would have to be it because I've never went camping for an extended period of time where I couldn't shower. 
Yeah. And if I'm at home, maybe if I'm like, if I was really sick, maybe I went three days if I was like just in bed sick. But right. like, that would be the exception. Right. Absolute exception. Shower make you feel better when you're sick anyway. It does. I try, yeah, I shower a lot when I'm sick, to be honest. So. All right. <clears throat> All right. What about you? How long you went without shower? We don't, don't worry about No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't showered since I moved in. Oh, fair. <laughs> I just run the water in there. <laughs> you just run it so I think you're showering? You wet my hair. Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's game. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you have heard. I don't know how you would have, but fair. Uh, if you've done all that, then tell everybody you know about it. For Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. See you on the next one. We are a hota.